where I go with it. is I go to the question of like, do I, do I need a framework? Do I want a framework? Do I want to track this? Do I need the data mm -hmm. or is my experience mm -hmm. enough? And mm -hmm. I'm not saying there is a right or a wrong in either of those choices. It's more like mm -hmm. for me right now, because mm -hmm. I, because I have tracked things um, at some points in my life. And because I think it came from an, an inner wisdom, like to say, hey, Steph, pay attention to this in your life and what's sure. happening here. Like, look at this pattern, trends, whatever, for a while and notice something. I've done this actually with marketing and experiments and like kind of seeing how I show up differently. Um, and that was and that was really helpful. And at the same time, I really love the idea of. What if I don't hold on to anything? What if I don't, um, you know, what actually is, it's not just scaffolding or a framework or a map, but what can I stand on that's here for me mm -hmm. always in and out of any of these experiences, the changes, the cycles, the seasons. And something about that feels really amazing, but sometimes that leads me to, look at the cycles right you know like I, i'm not saying it isn't yeah, yeah. either or it's a both and and yet knowing that what is it it's it's i think it's like for me it's the feeling the feel of nature the the aliveness within me that guides me that directs me the same thing that enlivens me and everything is supporting me that's what i hear in wu wei mm. it's there is no what is it? There is a path, but there is no one who walks the path. Mm -hmm. It is this, this happening. It is yeah. this unfolding. And I am a part of it, whether I fight against it or try mm -hmm. to create it cross purposes or I flow with it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I really love that perspective. But, and, and there's something beautiful about that. This is, this is happening within us, whether we're paying attention to it or working with it in a dedicated way or not. Like this is this is what it means to be human. This is what it means to be in this in this world. Is to have cycles and flow and and things. And um, yeah, I, I think there's something beautiful for people to take to experiment with this and 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 figure out the way that this this works for them. And I, I would offer for, for me, like um, recovering from perfectionism, I I've had to I've had to develop that sense of trust. Like I I have not had that for nearly all of my life, and even now, like it still kind of comes and goes. So you know, you were talking earlier about kind of uh, intentional practices and and an embodiment, a way of being one of the things I have really appreciated about something like cyclical living is it has, uh, it's really supported me in developing that sense of, of trust. So now like my, my aware, my menstrual cycle awareness practice isn't particularly active. Like I don't, I don't sit and journal and track in perhaps the same way I did a few years ago because it is more embodied and more intuitive, but to get to the place where it, I can surrender to it, I have to go through the kind of the, the disciplined focused um oh, the focus yeah the, the intentional practice like it's like learning learning a musical instrument or a language or a martial art like you kind of have to go through you have to practice your scales mm -hmm. <laughs> um in order to get to the place where that you can um uh you can ad lib and uh, improvise on the on the spot hmm. 